Well, good afternoon and welcome to my uh, video on the Fujitsu uh, TX100 S3 server where I'll be unpacking or unboxing and uh, hopefully somebody will enjoy and benefit from this and um, so once again welcome and uh, you know before I start unpacking, I'll tell you that uh, it, what you know it's uh, it's what's it's made up of, and uh, it's a it's got an Intel Xeon E3 1220 quad core processor with a speed of 3.10 gigahertz, uh, standard installed memory 8 gigabyte, and uh, that's ECC and um, DDR3 of course. Uh, operating at um, um, uh, 133 3. and uh, it comes with 1 terab terabyte and um, divide that into 2 divided with divide 200, uh, f uh, two 500 gigabyte drives and it's a form factor um, of, of, of a tower uh, but it, it is a micro size and um, and that's pretty much the description. Um, so what I'll do, I'll, I'll start unpacking it, and uh, and uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy. Okay. Let's have a look and see the dimensions of the box. in here push this back a little okay there's a box with um, some stuff in here we'll have a look at that in a minute There it is. Okay, so that's out of the box. And just tilt it down a little bit. Can't see much with the lighting, so I'll put it at this angle. Okay, so as you can see, it comes with a um, uh, a DVD rewriter, a couple of um, slots for a three and a half inch, a couple of um, USB ports there. Let's look at the back. Okay, let's have a closer look. So you have uh, your power supply with a switch here. Um, your video output and uh, six USBs as well as two network cards and um, and um, okay. By the way, the network cards is two two, two gigabit um, network cards. Okay, well I'll do another open of the case. Okay, that should just slot out. Okay. So there's the inside. Okay, let's have a look. One thing I'm dying to find out whether these drives are the drives that come with it are Fujitsu drives. And 
in, on closer inspection, it appears they're actually Seagate drives. As you can see there, Seagate. So Okay, so there's your hardware. So needless to say, there's the two two times uh, four gigabyte RAM. There's your processor sitting on top of the Xeon. Uh, power supply, 300 watt power supply, any energy efficient. I'm told. Um, two times 500, and it has a built-in RAID. And um, and also you've got some excess slots down here. Um, and that's it really. There's nothing more. Um, it has a ATI graphics onboard graphics card which has got 64 megabyte of memory. And um, that's it. And there's nothing else to show. And what I'll do, I'll um, put this back on. Okay, and that's it. Turn this back around, and um, and um, there it is. So, what I'll be doing with it is, um, I'll be setting up a um, home virtual lab with it, uh, and I'm, I want to have to put the memory up to at least 16 gig and uh, ES, ES VMware ASXi uh, vSphere version 5 um, will be going there hosting a number of um, VMs including uh, 2008 release and um, and um, Citrix and uh, several other things I'll be installing on there to set up and learn from so anyway that's my that's what it's doing and uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the vid and uh, and um, I hope it helps you in any way and uh, thanks for watching.